All right guys, it's Bob here and I'm bringing you a little unbox again today. And this time it is the Rode Video Mic Go. Now I've actually got this uh, basically to go for outside shooting with the video camera really, because I've got some bits and pieces coming up and uh, I think this is going to be a, uh, a big help. Well, hopefully it is anyway. So look around and it's, it's very simply packaged actually. So you've got lightweight, no battery required, integrated Rykot Lyre suspension, and a two-year warranty. That's nice, two-year warranty. That's uh, very nice. So you can see that basically that's pretty much all that you get other than the lead which is behind here. Uh, you can see it in action there on top of the camera on that side of the box. Same there. And then you've got all like your uh, different languages for what you get. In the box there so uh, without any further waffling let's get this box open get into it so uh, yeah I'm sort of looking forward to trying this but uh, you know with a little bit of trepidation as well so that is literally it that's all you get inside there you just get this plastic tray which very simply lifts off and that's it you're straight into the goodies so here you've got Obviously, it comes with pretty much everything nowadays. Set of instructions. Don't forget to register your free warranty. So that's good. And just your basic instructions there on uh, how to fit it and how to set it up. So, we put that to one side and we'll have a look. So there's your double-ended cable. That fits between the mic input on your camera and the microphone, of course. If I can get into that, there we go, and you can see that's got plenty of spring in it, and you've just got your two uh, stereo 3.5s on either end of it there. So, let's have a look at this, and you've got no gain control or anything on this, not quite sure what that is, but I'm sure I'll find out. Got their branding on the back there, Video Mic Go, made in Australia. And uh, there you go. So you've got that nice sort of suspension there, which should help uh, take out any bumps, knocks and what have you coming through into your uh, audio. And there's your shoe adapter there. So you wind that up, put it in, and then you lock it back down with that. That's quite free running. Nice set of threads on that. And uh, the windshield over the top. And you can see uh, you can just make out your microphone capsule inside there. So you've got sound coming from in there, there, and obviously through the end. So put the windshield back on. Probably not the best of windshields, but uh, there you go. So basically, right now you're listening to me through uh, the Valley mic. Um, which is just a very cheap sort of generic one with a, I think it was a 10 foot cable, three meter cable on this one. So uh, we're gonna do some tests now and we'll use this and I'll also just uh, give you a bit of a test using the uh, built-in microphones, which I have to say are actually pretty good on this camcorder. Um, so anyway, let's get to the testing. Okay, so this is me talking to you through the Lavalia mic again, which uh, is just there, so you should be able to hear that. So, um, yeah, I mean, that should be giving you pretty sort of clear vocals because it's so close and it will cut out a lot of sort of surrounding noise because uh, I am in a room, so I'm expecting a little bit of echo when I uh, eventually get through to the, uh, the Rode microphone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug this and we're going to use just the um, the built-in um, microphones. So here goes. Right, so with that unplugged, you should just be listening to me now through the microphones. I'm, I'm about sort of, maybe a little over two foot from the, uh, from the camcorder. And uh, so really now you should be picking up a little bit of the spatial sound as well, possibly a little bit of sound coming in if there, if there were any sounds going on outside or anything like that you'd be able to hear that as well and now the microphone is mounted on top and I'm about to plug that in and we'll see how we go with that 
Right, so same distance, guys. Um, about you know, about about two foot from the camera, and now you recording through the uh, the video might go, um, and I'm expecting more sort of slightly more enclosed sound, uh, maybe not quite as um, spatially aware uh, sound wise if uh, it comes across. If I'm, what I'm saying is coming across right to you. Um, Hopefully there'll be less vibration than you picked up, although you shouldn't really be hearing some in this static situation. But um, I'll be taking it away, uh, filming a lot of stuff um, family-wise through the front of it. Um, I'll be filming like the uh, the wife feeding some lions and that uh, next year. So, or uh, ooh, there's a thought. But um, you know, um, hopefully it should only be picking up side sort of sound and mainly the focal point at the front and picking up less of that rear sort of, sort of sound which you do tend to get from uh, like surround sound microphones on uh, camcorders. So uh, let me know what you think of the uh, audio quality, especially of this one. Um, I mean the others, you know, the Lavalier I use for my unboxings, gives a closer sound, cleaner sound. Um, and I just want to know, you know, your thoughts. Let me know what the, uh, the audio sounds like, guys. Okay, so... Uh, Cheers guys, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.